Liam, about two months ago in a pre-match press conference, you mentioned how good it would be to get your hometown club promoted. You've just done exactly that, so just sum up that feeling right now. To be honest, uh, speechless, to be honest, coming, coming from Cambridge and uh, it's been a couple tough years in the past, so um, yeah, it's, it's an amazing, amazing achievement and yeah, uh, it's a collective effort from everyone, from staff to players, the lot, and I couldn't be prouder, to be honest, a little bit emotional about it as well. Um, but yeah, a great moment and one that will live with me forever. Talk about the, the manager in Mark Bond, obviously a man that you've known for a number of years and, and the job that he's done and, and the relationship you've got with him. Yeah, we were, I think I first met him when I was five or six in community projects, just at uh, local schools and things like that. And listen, he's, he's, uh, he's stuck at it for sure. And, <laughs> and look at him now, uh, first full season in management and, and promoted. And I couldn't be happier for him. Um, He's a top man and I think if you ask every single player they'd say exactly the same thing. Uh, he's got a great great staff with him as well. Gary Waddock's done, done brilliant for us. Barry Core, Mark Bunn, then, then Matt Walker, Mikey, uh, Leslie and Rich that help on a day-to-day -day basis. It's uh, been a collective effort with obviously Covid playing a, yeah. a big part in it as well. So yeah, I, couldn't, I honestly couldn't be happier and yeah, it's, it's a great feeling. Mark's obviously set himself a very good standard in his first year. Just talk about the standard that you boys have set yourselves and, and what it's been like to be a part of this team here at Cambridge United this year. It's been a pleasure. I think, uh, how can I put it? Um, we're, we're a hard-working team. Uh, we've obviously Paul Mullen, who's scored a, a lot of goals, um, and Wes, who's, who's, who's offered a lot of experience uh, along the way. and credit to him because um, I'm not sure what, what, what his plans are for the future and to be honest I, I think it's a, an honour for us all to have played with him to be honest. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm mumbling on a bit here aren't I? Oh mate, 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 mate yeah, you mumble away, you, you mumble um, away. Yeah, all the lads I couldn't be proud of and um, yeah, I just wish the fans could have been in. Absolutely. And just to touch upon your season, Liam, obviously it's been a tricky few years with, with the injuries and you even had one this yeah. year, but to bounce back and, and even have played the role you did in the second half of the season must have meant a lot to you. And the goals as well, which um, which came at crucial times in, in the games you did score in. Yeah, it, it meant a lot. I, I think I, I sat down with you not long ago and uh, the local media team and just said, if I can impact the season in a positive way, then great. And hopefully from, if you ask anyone, hopefully I've done that. And uh, yeah, Every, everyone's played a part. Lads who, who, who didn't play today um, have been brilliant throughout and we, we've had some tough times as well. Um, a few defeats that maybe we shouldn't have happened and we, we've got up again and just kept fighting and yeah, it's a great achievement. And for this evening, local knowledge is going to be key in terms of knowing where to go for, on, the, uh, on the old drinks, isn't it? Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Top man, enjoy it then. Cheers, Bye thank you. Mate.